Dear HBS friends and family, I'm here today to thank you for saving my life. One year ago, I was sitting right there at Baker Lawn, watching the graduation of my friends as a happily married 27-year-old RC student. Like you, I remember I was worried about taking final exams and I was anxious whether I had chosen the best summer job for my envisioned career path. Little did I know that the news I would receive that same week would drop a, a bomb in my life, a bomb much more devastating than I could ever have imagined. As many of you know, after endless medical tests and huge uncertainties, my husband, our classmate Pedro from Section D was diagnosed with an incurable form of stomach cancer. On that day, my world, as I knew it, just melted below my feet. We were far away from home, we were far away from our families in Brazil, and all we had here was HBS. And in my journey since that day, I came to realize what makes this community so special. Students, faculty and staff, friends and people I had never met, all of you worked together tirelessly to help us through our hardest days. And I cannot overstate just how proactive, resourceful and impactful you have been in our battle. You give us access to the best available treatments and to the best doctors in the world. Some of them even here today. You coached me on how to best advocate with the medical teams to make absolutely sure we would try everything possible until the very end, which I'm very confident we did. Your affection created an environment around Pedro that inspired him that captivated an entire hospital. You even kept us fed, sometimes perhaps just a little too well fed. But the most important present you gave us was your presence. You were truly there for us, always caring, ever selfless. You cried, but you also bravely left with us in that cold, with very vibrant hospital room, where four months later, Pedro passed, knowing how loved he was. And in the many months that followed, you kept me from drowning by listening, understanding, engaging me in every possible way. You led me to rediscover fun and ended up helping me reinvent an entire new life for myself. A new life full of new dreams, new passions, and new revelations about who I am and what I'm capable of. I can never thank you enough. I truly wouldn't be here today, ready to receive my diploma with this class, if it weren't for you. Pedro gave us an example of kindness, courage, and resilience. He was someone able to fully engage in every experience and to deeply empathize with every person. Just a few days before he passed, HBS was kind enough to give him his very own diploma. And upon receiving it, to the astonishment of all our friends that rallied around us on that day, he held it and said, HPS is a place for development. I learned and accomplished a lot here. There are still many things that I wish I could do, but I know there are many people here who will do it for me. And he smiled to his mom and to me. I wish I knew what all those things were. But I know he would be so, so proud to see us here today, bravely welcoming our new challenges ahead, new industries, new geographies, 
and he would be proud of me facing my fear of public speaking outside the comfort zone of my native language. In fact, I'm even wearing high heels, which I truly, truly hate, <laughs> just to prevent me from shaking or trying to. Because nothing would stop me from pouring my heart out to you today with my most sincere beliefs. He would be proud because Pedro was a dreamer and he believed in our potential even when we didn't see it ourselves. Even when we were each certain we were that one admissions error. But we heard many times before that D. Leopold does not make errors. And ironically, the only quotes I wrote five years ago in my two plus two admissions essays was what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Or the Brazilian funnier version of it, o que não mata engorda, which actually translates as what doesn't kill you makes you fatter. <laughs> Back then, I was relating to my mom, my own personal superhero growing up, who have been successfully battling MS for almost 40 years. But I only came to fully understand the meaning of those simple words after getting to know you and your stories. All of you have known suffering. And even so, the brightest smiles I have seen in the hallways in Aldrich have been worn by those who survived the most difficult situations, those who conquered their own personal battles. May your hard-won smiles continue to inspire people as they have inspired me all the way. I hope you know how strong you are, that failure and loss won't stop us from moving forward, even as we leave this amazing place behind, even as we might be no longer together. As we learned in BSSC, Unexpected disruptions will continue to come on our way and reshape everything we thought we knew. But I hope you know we do have what it takes to lead the change to, to succeed and to readapt ourselves, our companies, and even our countries. And I hope you know that to be true, that we can, in fact, make a real difference in the world. You certainly already made a very real one in mine. If I may share just one thing that I learned after emerging from complete darkness, is that the world is just so full of colors that we fail to appreciate, that there is so much happiness all around us that we take for granted. As overachievers, we have had a tendency to overplan everything towards huge end goals and to allow all our happiness to be only but a function of their conquest, only but a function of big moments. Just like today, graduating from Harvard Business School. Well, yes, we definitely need to celebrate a lot today because we did it and we did it together. But in the end, what will have made this entire experience is not the framed piece of paper we'll hang in our future offices. Rather, what made these two years so transformational were the simple things. Our small group dinners, the many new perspectives from class discussions that we had never before considered, the failure story from that inspiring guest that came to our class, the amazing tracks abroad that opened our eyes to new realities. What made these two years so unforgettable was our day-to-day -day here. The section's basketball games, even when they were against Section B. The witty jokes from our beloved Professor Sophus. The successful summit of Mount Everest the many late nights, delicious, tasty burgers. 
The future Fortune 500 CEOs dressed in neon spandex at the 80s party. The very, very, very dangerous scorpions at the Kong. And of course, the cold call the morning after. And the beautiful smile from our classmates' newborn babies. Those were the moments that made us a real family. And G, G believes that the bonds created within our sections, our discussion groups, and with our fellow nationals are truly unbreakable. And we had a blast. So let's fully appreciate as we experience moments like these in our brave new journeys ahead instead of wasting our lives paralyzed by the fear that we won't achieve our next target, or that we won't have that perfect happy ending we so desperately hope it for. Life is not about its endings, because life, life is much more precious than that. And I invite all of you here to cherish each and every single day as a big bonus you have just been awarded to live your life with an intense passion and gratitude for this opportunity to never stop pursuing your dreams, whatever they may be, but also and more importantly, to make the pursuit itself meaningful to you and to all those around you. Do it for your loved ones and do it for yourselves. And today, I would also want to praise our families, wherever they are, those who taught us what family actually means, those who have been there all the way cheering and believing in us. We are here today because of you. And finally, congratulations, class of 2016, now masters in business and in solidarity. Thank you for being an integral part of this incredible community that I'm so deeply proud and grateful to belong to. Parabéns e muito obrigada. Congratulations and thank you.